You know, the gold and silver circle, it's not so much an award, it is a society of honor. That's right. It's a recognition of those who've made significant contribution to television well above and beyond that required by their actual jobs. And that contribution can be in service to the industry, to the Upper Midwest Emmy chapter, to the community, or to the people training for a career in the field. Our next Silver Circle honorees, Ken Stone and Noel Cedarstrom, have not only had award-winning broadcasting careers, but have helped lead the Upper Midwest Emmy chapter, as well as train and guide the next generation of broadcasters. Hi, I'm Ken Stone. Ken's first TV job was at a CBS affiliate in Salisbury, Maryland, market 167. He then moved to public TV in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. It was here that he produced his first documentary, which earned him his first Emmy. Welcome to the inaugural broadcast of Newsnight Minnesota. In 1994, Twin Cities Public TV hired him as the first show producer for Newsnight Minnesota. He became one of the co-hosts, and his series of reports on the closing of a Unisys plant earned him an Alfred I. DuPont silver baton. We're talking today about local news. Oprah once called Newsnight local news done right, although she probably didn't watch this gubernatorial debate from 1998. Ted, Okay, let's stop it right now. Let's stop it right now. Ken served almost a decade on the Academy's Board of Governors. He was the chapter's second president. During his tenure, the chapter expanded into Iowa, created Emmys on the road, and grew its college scholarship program. He spent seven years teaching at the University of Minnesota School of Journalism. Many of his students are currently working at news outlets in Minnesota and around the country. Channel 4 News with five And while some of his students thought he bore a remarkable likeness to Ron Burgundy, Broadcast News is the movie he thought was more true to life. What do you do when your real life exceeds your dreams? Keep it to yourself. <laughs> That's such a great line. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ken Stone. There are so many other people who want to be standing up on the stage with me. They're the videographers, the editors, the producers, and even some of my bosses uh, who made me a better broadcast journalist. And I'm going to just thank a few of them, but first I need to thank the person who helped me become a journalist to begin with. Uh, she was my girlfriend at the time. I was three years out of college, had a broadcast journalism degree, but hadn't done anything with it. And the truth is I was afraid to try. Anyway, we're on vacation driving through upstate New York and we're driving by this small city, Plattsburgh. We saw this TV tower and at the bottom it was this NBC logo. And that's when Margaret leaned over and said, well, you could be working there, you know. And that was the kick in the pants I needed. I got my first broadcast job shortly after that. Uh, I'd like to thank Ron Hanberg, who is here tonight, for hiring me at Channel 2. Even though his first inclination was to hire the other guy instead, so, Ron, thank you for letting me talk you out of that. I'd also like to thank Bill Hanley, who's also here tonight, for not firing me, even though his boss at the time, Jack Willis, wanted him to. Uh, Bill, thanks for talking him out of that. Um, and I do know that a big reason that I'm here is because of my service to the, the board and the academy. And it was Hanley who actually got me involved with the board, uh, because I didn't know it at the time, but Hanley was on the board of governors, and I didn't know this at the time, but he wanted to get off. So one day he pulls me into a meeting of the board and I had no idea what I was doing there until I see Hanley slip out of the room and I get voted as his replacement. <laughs> but it was through the board that I met Al Timms at the University of Minnesota and Al gave me the best job I ever had. When I first walked into that classroom, I was sort of bringing not only my expertise, but the expertise of all those people who I'd worked with through the years but the act of teaching, the give and take with the students, made me really re-examine, re-evaluate everything I had just done. And so what happened is that my students made me a better broadcast journalist, and they should be up here as well. So, so with that in mind, I'd like to pose a challenge to them, and I know it may take a few years, but you could be holding that, you know. Thank you. <laughs>